And we're back. This is Arts Alive with Linda Philippi. My guest is John Stromy, and we're talking about his art and his life and his work and his inspiration <laughs> and all that good stuff. Life so, times. <laughs> welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. So, anyway, you were saying that you dropped your your camera. Oh God! Yeah, I. Um, yeah, I was out. My son calls me and says, "Dad, you got to see the moon." And so I get out there and I'm scrambling around. I'm so excited and got my camera out there and I'm you know, trying to get in the right position. And I've got the zoom extended way out and I can't hold the camera still enough. So I run back in to get my tripod and set it up. And and then, <laughs> then it, somehow I just lost it. And there goes my camera oh my from gosh. about six feet up onto the pavement. And it was, <laughs> that was curtains for that camera. I went the way of the buffalo. So you missed the moon shot that night. Uh, yeah, I missed the moon shot. I missed the camera, the whole deal. It was wow. total, total disaster. So now I'm shopping. No doubt. So Well, and you, but you're still at the market. Oh, yeah, still at the market. The yes, market's going very strong. I, I was at, last week I was at the Farm Festival, and that was a great event. Mm -hmm. We had a count, head count of 1,500. Wow, that's fabulous. Yeah, I think it was 1,561 or something like mm -hmm. that, which is really good. And I got to meet a lot of people that I generally don't get to talk to. Sure. But I did miss the market, too, at the same mm -hmm. time. So, But my wife filled in for me. So. Okay, good. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, you want to look at some more of your of your work. Sure, I know yeah. people always like to see the images, so let's bring sure. them up. Sure. This one I originally painted this for um, Deepak and Sinclair uh, Sani. Deepak is a, um, uh, I believe. Oh, I don't butcher this. I think he's a radiologist. Okay. Hope I got that right. Um, anyway, great guy, great family, and this is the the view from their backyard. Nice. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. I told him once. I said, you know, this is good life gets for you. Mm -hmm. That's it. You're done. <laughs> you don't get anything better than this, you know. And it is just, it's staggeringly beautiful up there. That's nice. And so, yeah, I painted that. It was a rather large image, and mm -hmm. uh, they were happy with it. And uh, yeah, it's just been a neat image. I painted I painted on that partially when I was at uh, Linfield. Okay. Yeah, at the Linfield show. This one, um, actually, the original picture. This one was taken by uh, my wife when she was in uh, California, mm -hmm. uh, and that's Laguna Beach. And she happened to catch these seagulls just right. And I just like the image. I like this ascension thing that's going on, and and I liked the. And then I enhanced the. Um, you know the horizon line a bit, mm -hmm. and I that image I just I enjoyed it, so I played with it. And it kind of looks like the northern lights, and you don't usually see seagulls. Yeah, <laughs> so far north, right? I mean, yeah. you do. I don't know. Well, yeah, I don't know either, <laughs> but I like I just like the way it looks, and and That's pretty. Uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not opposed to breaking some rules along uh, yeah. the way. That's what makes it interesting, though. Yeah. That's what makes it dramatic. Yeah, kind of, yeah. Yeah, you do something a little, you mm -hmm. push the envelope, you do something a little over the edge. So this one, this is Alan, you know that, um, you know where the the hazelnuts are, right? Alan McKee's farm, mm -hmm. as you leave town. Mm -hmm. um, this is was taken of the, I did an original image, which you'll see later, but this was taken of the inside of the old homestead out front. Okay. I had an interesting conversation with Alan one day. He says, he says, you know, I, I grew up in that house. And he says, uh, you know, I just don't have the heart to tear it down. <laughs> that house is just, you know, mm -hmm. it, every, you know, it's just slowly kind of dying, but he, poor guy just doesn't, does, doesn't want to pull it down, you know, and I don't blame him. Plus it's just from a photo standpoint, it, Offers oh, some that's great. just remarkable views. You know, sometimes people do things with those old houses too that where they they'll mm -hmm. reclaim the wood and use it. You know, yeah. as a flooring oh, or know. siding or something like that. Yeah, I love that. Mm -hmm, I do too. This is an image where um, somebody at the market came to me and they had this old photo of a horse, and it's kind of a cool story because that horse and that standard poodle there were good pals, mm -hmm. and the horse. Um, so then the horse had a Full, right? Is mm -hmm. that what you call it? Yeah, mm -hmm. baby horse. And the standard pool was helping clean up. Oh, how cute. Right? And so, but the color, over the years, the color had faded. Sure. And probably, you know, 
as old as that picture was wasn't that great in the first place. So what I did was I went in and, and put all the color back into the photo. I took the concrete out. I took the little steel fence uh, post out mm -hmm. just to make a little bit more desirable composition. Mm -hmm. And um, so... So yeah, and of course that's led to other things that other people want me to you do. You know, it's funny when you when you did that when you said that I was thinking yes, make it more rural. And yeah, then I, I, and exactly. I, I flashed on this. I was with my grandson and we were driving yeah. along somewhere, yeah. and he goes, "Oh, this is so rural." And I thought, <laughs> "How old is he?" Nine. And I thought, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's great. I know it kind of cracked me up. This one Ooh, like is that. a painting I did for Alan McKee. Or no, excuse me, Jeb Ladine. Okay. And um, Jeb Ladine is the owner of the News Register, mm -hmm. and his this is his neighbor's house, mm -hmm. and um, he has so, a nice piece of property too uh, up there. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, well, I haven't seen Jeb's; I've only seen this. So. Oh, okay. It's and, a picture? and funny and amazingly enough, I found it on Facebook. Oh, and um, I, you know, <laughs> and then he gave it. He gave the 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 painting to his neighbor for their uh, wedding. Nice. It was a wedding gift, so it was a pretty cool thing, and it's got that nice, you know, back to that kind of inviting warmth. You know what that reminds me of? It's like Maxwell Parish or something. You know, it's got that oh, real yeah. saturated yeah, color. Kind of Parish, me, yeah. me too. But yeah. that's what it reminds me of in a way. So yeah, it's it's. Uh, so anyway, I did that for him, and and it worked out well. And mm -hmm. So. There we go. Um, this one I did for uh, Joyce at the market. And up there in the left-hand corner, that is, I believe, her... It's either her... I think it's her father-in-law. And she had the picture up in the left-hand corner. What I did was I took the, the car, you know, I enhanced the colors mm -hmm. of the car, and then I dropped it into this setting, this old gas station. Oh, you just put the image. In yeah. The so basically, what I did was I cut it out of there, dropped it into this setting, and then I put all the shadows and everything oh, in there, nice. so it looks like it was really there. When we're through filming, I have a question to ask you about that. So sure. anyway, we'll I'll ask you later. We'll just keep okay. moving. Okay. Okay. Great. Yeah. Um, this is the Mac Theater. Mm -hmm. I love the Mac Theater, and I, I, I don't know what's going to happen with the future of the Mac Theater, but I hope. I hope it's always there, and I hope we can get it lit at some point in the future. Yeah, somebody needs to win the lottery, huh? Yeah, Just absolutely. Drop a big old yeah. wad of money into that. Yeah, yeah. Like they did with the Elsinore. I would like to see, you know, some sort of a, it seems like that could be some kind of a, well, never mind. I won't yeah. go there. I won't go and make exactly. a political statement. No. <laughs> anyway, but I would love to see the Max Day. I don't want sure. to lose that. Just an awesome, awesome picture well those are really lovely images Thank you. i mean i really i'm just kind it's of amazed at what uh, all the things you do because last year in august when we came out to do this <laughs> to film the show at the market oh yeah, yeah. remember that day it was yeah. hot and yeah you know, there were it people was hot. arguing and all, kind of a lot of <laughs> drama going on all around us and there we were yeah it was. but you painted yeah you, oh you yeah, did a, yeah you did a painting while we were there yeah that yeah i, I um painted a I believe it was a image that I remembered from when I was hiking as a as a child, a young man. And were you listening to music on headphones or something? What we no? Maybe? Yeah, I like to listen to mm -hmm. um, rock and roll when I paint. Right. A lot. Okay, that's what certain I certain type of rock and roll with a certain type of beat paints really, really well. What's the beat that you like? Uh, Creedence Clearwater. Okay, like that. Um, I, it's not the, the Ramones. Oh, okay, perfect. <laughs> um, Actually, I like to paint to Shakira a lot. Mm -hmm. She there's something about that Latin, you know, and all that octave changing thing she does with mm -hmm. her voice that paints well. And for me, I know some music just really energizes you. Yeah, and you paint differently too mm -hmm. to different music. You know, there'll be like if I paint to jazz, the touch is really light. Mm -hmm. You know, if I paint to you know hard rock and roll, that's then it's why aggressive. they always put on the smooth jazz for romantic evenings. You know, yeah. <laughs> keep it light. Exactly. But if you have yeah. ever noticed yourself driving, and then yeah. all of a sudden the, the old Bob Seger or something yeah, comes on, I paint to Bob Seger too. Yeah. All of a sudden, yeah. you go, oh, I'm Hollywood doing seventy-five. <laughs> <laughs> Better yeah. turn it down. Yeah. Tone it down, yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah, so I, lo funny. I love to paint to his music, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's on there. Hart mm -hmm. is on there. Um, who else do I have on there? Oh, gosh. 
Um, oh, uh, Elvis Costello, you know, stuff that just, you know, I grew up with. Do you have any shows coming up? Um, well, I'm going to be in the farmer's market. Okay. Um, the, the downtown. Yeah, I'm really farmer's excited market. about okay. In fact, I won the poster Yay! for that, which I'm really excited about. Mm -hmm. And I wish I could show the image, but I think I'm premature in doing that. Okay. Um, but I did win that, and I was really, really happy about That's that. That's great. And I felt really, yeah, it was, I really wanted that bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, Is it a digital, or is it an oil? It or? is a digital. Okay. Yeah, so I created all these characters. Oh, and, how fun. Yeah, it turned out, it, yeah, I was really happy with it. Um so going to be doing that, going to be doing, and then uh, hope to do the Linfield show again. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, I get asked to do different things, so we'll see how that goes. Sometimes, you know, things are just, you know, like, like uh, the Art and Wine Walk. Mm -hmm. You know, if somebody asked me to do it, I'll probably do it. The last show I did was for uh, Cornerstone. Mm -hmm. It was in Cornerstone, and that was good. Yeah, you get a lot of response from that. You know, it's kind of like, for me, where I seem to do best is when I'm there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, at Cornerstone, you go, the way it works is you go hang your pictures and then you, you leave. Right. But I think I had a lot, quite a few people come back and say, oh, yeah, I saw your work at Cornerstone, and then they buy something later. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's all good. I think any time you can get exposure, I mean, yeah, that's the thing. Really people may true. not buy it today, but if yeah. they're aware of what you do and they've seen your images, then yeah. they say, oh, we're going to go back and take another look at that. You yeah, know? yeah. you have to kind of like, you know, remind yourself all the time of that, that it's not. And even at the market, I, I really don't worry too much about if I sell something every day because mm -hmm. it, I always feel like it's, it'll come. You mm -hmm. know, it, it's coming. It's just... Sometimes it's it doesn't. Sometimes you'll have a day and you just start selling like crazy. You know? Now, have you ever taken any uh, painting classes or art classes, or are you largely self-taught? I self -taught? did. When I was pretty much <clears throat> self-taught. I I took um, painting class when I was twelve. Okay. And I, I've repeated this story to you once already, but I'll t I'll tell it to you briefly again if you like. Um, what happened was I was twelve years old. And the teacher told on me, and um, she says, John's not doing any of the work in class. All he does is draw pictures of monsters. And so my mom's response to that was to send me to art school for the summer. Great. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what a great mom. <laughs> it was a pretty good deal, right? No doubt. For me. I mean, yeah. yeah. So, so anyway, so that was it. And then I just continued throughout, you know, and painting revisited me throughout my life. Mm -hmm. And then... You know, and, and more and more as I got older, and now it's you know full time occupation. Sure, so. yeah, I think it's if you if you have a talent, it's not something that ever. I mean, it never really goes away. Yeah. You may be busy doing other things, but yeah, and I think I think that it's it's a thing of um, a need to do, you mm -hmm. know, and a, and a yeah, it's certainly a, a big desire. But I think that that people have that bent; they need it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just, it's just, you just can't not do it. Well, you know, so. it's, uh, we're almost out of time here, but I want to sure. tell you that it's been great to have you here. Oh, thank you so much, And to, really to find out what great you're doing. Because I know, I mean, I guess I'm part of your Facebook focus group. Yes, you are. Because thank I'm you clicking so much. like and oh, so cool and oh, I love this. And I mean, I guess that's a, that's a good thing for you to get oh, the feedback. Oh, it's great because that's what mm -hmm. I base what I'm going to do, you know. Sure. I put it on there. That's my test market. So. I love it. That's, I mean, yeah. it's. It's easy, really. Yeah, it is. It's great. <laughs> it's real easy. Yeah. Well, John, thanks so much for being here today. Thank you and, so um, much. Hopefully we'll catch up again one of these I days. I hope so. Thanks. <laughs> All right.